Okay, so today we're going to look at this TikTok. Um, I'm, I, we'll just make this a series, right? And uh, I'll, I'll talk more about glow up tips because it's something that people can actually benefit from. So this one is glow up tips for the boys. And uh, it's got a couple of them. So I'm going to dissect them one by one and tell you if they're worth continuing or if it's more just on the side of pseudoscience. And so the first thing we have is to lose facial fat, you should be chewing gum for one hour per day. Now, firstly, as somebody who chews gum for maybe like six hours a day, there are some benefits to it, but not for the reasons that you're thinking. The reason I chew gum is because it helps with food regulation. If I'm chewing something, it keeps me occupied. And so I'm not as tempted to go out and grab a snack. That does help maintain your calories for the day. But there's one benefit to chewing gum that I can definitely agree with. Morgan Johnson and Miles found that chewing gum does help with concentration and visual memory related tasks. But another study from the 2013 Journal of Eating Behaviors found that people who chew gum end up eating more when they do get their meals to compensate for all the hunger suppression. So take what I say here with a grain of salt. For me, I still feel like it does something, but the research is saying that it doesn't really do anything. Most importantly though, for facial fat, chewing gum only burns 11 calories an hour. If you're chewing sweetened gum, like I usually chew, it's like five to 11 calories because the gum actually has some calories. Even sweetened gum has like five to 11 calories. So really you're burning zero calories an hour for losing facial fat. It's absolute nonsense. However, chewing gum, and this is very circumstantial evidence, meaning there's not strong evidence on this, but it can help with mastication and building the masseter muscles. Essentially, the masseter muscles attach at the jawgonian, which is this point here, and this can cause the jawline to essentially look wider from the front. That's a slight benefit, but it's not going to give you the results you're really expecting. Actually, I have an image. So this textbook is called Contemporary Orthodontics by William Prophet and Colleagues. It's, a, it's one of the leaders in this orthodontic field. Anyway, to get back to the point, so there's this photo of a young man, and basically due to having a lot of masseter hypertrophy. So he used those masseter, the biting muscles, a lot. It caused him to develop some bony formations near the jaw gonions. And if you look in the x-ray, you can see that the, the actual bone has formed in that region. It gives him a wider jaw, maybe even too wide. And whether this has any like significant clinical risk that I get, they don't say in the textbook, but for aesthetics, I, I suppose there could be some benefit, but this isn't a normal case. This is a very extreme case where because of extreme pressure on his jaw, the muscle and bone have basically developed at a rate you wouldn't expect. What the textbook does make a very clear mention of is that the bite force doesn't have a significant link to facial development, but the lack of bite force does have a significant link to facial development, meaning that if you let your muscles, your chewing muscles get weak, it will result in a longer, narrower face, which is obviously less aesthetic than a shorter, wider face with better development. And this difference in strong bite force and weak bite force usually happens around puberty. So there is some benefit to chewing gum. If you want to maintain your bite force, you want to be using your jaw. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you cannot improve your bite force by using chewing gum. This particular paper did show that for all three types of face shapes, dolichocephalic, brachiocephalic, and mesocephalic, they were all able to improve their bite force undergoing training. It's most interesting that dolichocephalic head shapes were the most improved by chewing gum. And dolichocephalic head shapes are often caused from the orthodontic textbook by having a weak masseter muscle. So kind of like with all muscles, as you reach the peak in the muscle's ability, you're going to get diminishing returns, which is why for brachiocephalic, they saw less returns in strength after training than dolichocephalics, which generally, again, from the textbook, are suggested to have weaker jaw muscles, which causes them to take on this particular head shape. And for aesthetics, I think most people would rather have a face like this rather than this. This is something that especially young men need to be aware of. You know, the people from 14 to 18 that are most vulnerable at falling for this kind of marketing, that the jaw exercise companies, the ones that sell you the jaw bite force tools and the chewing gums, never really disclose, you're at high risk of developing TMJ, temporomandibular joint disorder, which is where the cartilage of the jaw basically gets worn down. And that's a very debilitating injury. Brett Maverick, one of the first YouTubers I ever saw talking really about jaw exercises, I think that was his whole thing, actually stopped doing jaw exercises. And one of the reasons he cited were the risk of 
causing injury. With the injury I can only assume he's talking about is TMJ and other orthodontists and dentists have spoken this, about. You want it. Right? I know you're laughing, but it's going to improve your jawline like crazy. If you have anxiety, ADD, or like to chew on things, that's what these chewy necklaces are for. If you're using it to try to get a defined jawline, overdoing it can cause pain and problems in the TMJ. And so eventually the joint gets worn down because of all this extra force that's running through the jaw unit and the cartilage is very hard to regenerate. Once cartilage is gone, it, it really can't be replaced in the same way and you're going to be in for a lifetime of pain. Now to me, that doesn't seem like it's worth the risk. So you can chew gum just for the sake of chewing gum. You can use it for the right reasons, like controlling appetite and suppressing hunger, but you shouldn't use it to expect a developed jawline. It doesn't work like that. It can't lose your facial fat. The things that can lose your facial fat is controlling the foods you eat and exercise. And that's really it. That being said, I'm going to go through all of the TikTok advice daily for the next two weeks. So if you like this type of content, stick around and subscribe. If you want to get your face assessed, you can go to Aku's website and order an assessment. You can also follow us on TikTok.